Okay, as we get ready to last again, I want you to last the lining of the shoe first. So ignore your upper for the time being. We're going to last the lining and we're going to make this edge sharp. Make sure your heel cap sits nicely in place at the edge of your shoe. This should also um, mean that up here, for my last at least, we're at the same height. We're going to go all around and when we're happy we're going to be cutting back the lining so that we have like two centimeters or a little bit less than an inch. Uh, and we're going to glue it down to our uh, inner sole. So I'll start working on that now. <clears throat> okay, so we're sort of back to where we started in the sense that we have our lining lasted, toe cap in place, um, except that it's, it's tighter, it's neater. What I'm going, what we're going to do now is along this edge here, I want you to hammer down the lining so that this crease at the edge becomes sharper. This would also be a good time if your toe cap passes that edge or your heel guard to cut it down a little. So with this hammering we can clearly see the edge here. Now I'm going to glue this lining to our sole. So what I'm going to do, not to my sole, but to the inner sole. So um, I'm going to remove a few nails at a time and then add glue, uh, press it down and nail it down again and then make my way around. Uh, until everything is glued. So we now have a very clear and sharp edge here and our lining lies nice and flat. This is what we want all the way around. After um, this glue is really hardened out we're going to cut away some of the excess. Over here at the heel there's a lot going on so you also have the choice to cut away a bit before you start gluing. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. There we go. <clears throat> our lining is glued to our inner sole. I'm just going to trim it back until about a bit less than an inch, two centimeters um, from the edge. And then we're going to start working on our upper. Look mom, no nails. Um, our lining is now ready. I've also already glued the zipper down, but we could have done that later. As you can see, I've also trimmed back the edge here. So we just have a, like, a, like a two centimeter uh, ridge around the entire uh, insole. Well, it's been glued down, hammered down, this, this crease is sharp. This is really clean and good for the next step, which will be to do the same with our upper, which Going to be a little bit harder because the ladder is thicker but we've got some good practice you know and we're up for it so let's do this before i start lasting the upper just a quick service announcement i'm recording this on the morning of january 1st 2018 so i just want to say happy new year now back to work we are now going to do the same uh, with our upper as we did for our lining which means to last it keep it in place glue it down trim it back have it lie flat have a sharp crease all of these things let's get to work Our first step, once again, is to secure everything with nails, last it down, and now we'll be gluing this. Our last thing is now complete. Both shoes are uh, ready to start working on the sole. Uh, the, the, the leather, both the liner, the lining and the upper wraps around nicely. We are now done with our lasting. Um, both shoes have uh, the, the leather firmly glued to the insole. Um, it's trimmed back, it's flat as it uh, can be. Um, same here, so now we're going to start working on the sole of our shoes.